I think Netflix should be calling me soon for the next K-drama. Hey guys, it's your girl Tina here. Welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited for today's video because I'm getting a K-drama actress makeover. So excited for this. So like me, I'm sure you've binge watched your fair share of K-dramas and wondered how these actors and actresses always look so naturally pretty and have flawless looking skin. I mean, is it the lighting? Do they have camera filters? Or are they just genetically blessed? Well, today I'm on a mission to find out. I'm getting a Korean drama actress makeover from a celebrity makeup artist, Da In, and she's spilling all her secrets. With five years of experience in the industry and having worked with famous actresses like Kim Tae-ri and Kim go Eun from the Netflix show Little Women, Da In is an expert in Korean makeup. Now, before we dive into it, I want to thank Haru Haru Wanda for sponsoring today's video. If you haven't heard of Haru Haru Wanda, they are a clean, vegan, natural skincare brand well known for their patented fermented black rice skincare line. I'm going to show you guys how I prep my skin before makeup using some of my favorite products from their range. Starting with the black rice hyaluronic toner for sensitive skin. This toner is made with 95% natural ingredients and helps to condition and prepare the skin for optimal absorption of other products. It's anti-inflammatory and helps to brighten the skin. Next, I like to apply the Black Rice Hyaluronic Cream, which helps to retain hydration in the skin by creating a protective barrier to prevent moisture loss. It has high antioxidant properties that help to keep the skin in the best condition possible by inhibiting oxidization. I also love that they have a fragrance-free version, which comes in a jar. Now I'm going to apply a small amount of the Black Rice Bakuchiol Eye Cream. This eye cream has powerful brightening effects to help improve the appearance of dark circles and dark areas surrounding the eyes. It also helps to combat wrinkles and creates a more youthful look. Now I'm feeling fresh and all prepped for makeup. If you guys want to try Haru Haru Wonder products, they're available on Coriel.com, my go-to platform for K-beauty products. If you guys didn't know, I have a special discount code with them, TINA20, and it'll get you 20% off their entire store. So not just Haru Haru Wonder products, every other brand they carry as well. So now is your time to stock up. Okay, now back to the makeover. So I'm in a very fancy area called Chongdam and the salon's just behind me. This is where a lot of celebrities go. So let me take you inside. To start off, Dain is going to show me the techniques she uses to make skin look naturally flawless. Using a spatula, she spreads a very thin layer of foundation on the center of my face, then blends it in with a large dry sponge. <laughs> Now with the leftover product on the sponge, she uses that on the sides of my face, so she's not adding more foundation on. This technique gives me enough coverage in the center of my face and it seamlessly blends out on the edges so it looks like I have naturally beautiful skin. For concealer, she's using a peachy and yellow tone concealer. The peachy corrects dark circles and the yellow tone conceals imperfections. With a small flat brush, she layers on the product and spot conceals, only the necessary parts. She explains that this may take a little longer than when using a bigger brush, but it creates a more natural skin-like finish. Next is contouring. This is an important step for actors because they like to accentuate the dark and light parts of their face. 
Satin mixes a few shades of contouring powder and blends it lightly around the edges of my face with a large fluffy brush. For my nose, she switches to a smaller brush and softly contours the sides and tip of my nose. Notice how she doesn't map out the face with the contoured areas like in western makeup. Instead, the contour is very lightly blended and diffused. This ensures that there's no harsh lines and it looks super natural on camera. For brows, she is applying a clear brow gel and combs through to remove any clumps. She then uses a brow pencil to fill in the sparse areas. Most of the Korean makeup artists I've seen use Shuramura brow pencil because it gives you a very soft, natural finish. <laughs> Moving on to lashes, Diane heats up the end of a wooden stick to prep them before curling. This technique helps to create a better curl, similar to when you smooth your hair out with a blow dry before styling it. It holds the style or curl a lot better. After curling my lashes, Diane explains that actors generally don't use false lashes or lots of mascara because they want to look natural, especially in close-up scenes. So instead, curling the lashes very well helps to define their eyes. For eyeshadow, she's applying a wash of this peachy shade all over my lid and the same shade along my lower lash line. To add definition, she lines my top waterline with a dark brown liquid liner. And then, to extend the outer corner of my eyes, she uses a chocolate brown gel liner, which creates a softer look. Then she adds a little bit more brown eyeshadow to almost naturally contour my eyes and just make them a little bit more defined yet natural. Now here's a fun fact that I didn't know. In K-dramas, the character's wardrobe and styling are chosen first and then the makeup and hairstyles are chosen afterwards to complement the look, not the other way around. <laughs> Here, Diane is finishing off my eyes with a light coat of mascara. She's fanning out my lashes to ensure there are no clumps. Then she uses the heated wooden stick to dry out the mascara and it helps to remove any moisture, making the mascara last longer. I thought that this was a very interesting technique. I thought it was just to curl the lashes more, but now I know it's to dry out the mascara. Next, she adds a touch of blush. <laughs> Shimmer, I get 
이런 친구들을 사용하면 눈으로 봤을 때는 심오한 감이 안 보이지만 화면상에서 조명을 받았을 때 훨씬 얼굴 좀 입체적으로 보일 수 있어서 훨씬 피부가 더 좋아. For highlighter, she applies the lightest amount to create a subtle sheen. She explained that not all actors and actresses use highlighter, but when they do, it is very, very subtle. Moving on to lips, I naturally have a darker lip line, so she's going to use a lipstick to even out the color first. Then she applies a moisturizing lipstick. Diane explains that actors tend to only use lip balms or hydrating lipsticks as opposed to lip tints and long lasting products. The reason for this is they're on set for really long hours and will need to reapply their lips. So something like a balm is very easy to reapply and won't crust up and build up on the lip like a tint. Now my makeup look is pretty much done, but Da-In still has a few more trade secrets to share with me. If you guys want your makeup to last longer, especially in hot or humid weather, Da-In shared this amazing tip with me. Her little secret is to use magic sealer to prevent smudging and to keep your eye makeup in place all day. She applies the tiniest amount over my mascara and a little bit on my liner. And she said that's enough. You don't want to overdo it because especially on camera, if it's very up close, it may get all clumpy and build up. So the tiniest amount is better. Then for the rest of the face, she sprays on a fixer mist, which is like a setting spray. But she says, make sure you always cover the eyes because you don't want that to smudge. And that's pretty much it for makeup. Now we're going to move on to hairstyling. Meet Suhi everyone. She's been doing hair for over seven years and today she's going to give me a popular K-drama hairstyle. First off, she smooths out my hair with a blow dry. And then adds volume to my roots. Then she uses a straightener to press down my little baby hairs, which are super annoying. But hey, at least I have more hair, I can't complain. To add more volume on the sides, Suhi uses a mini crimper on the roots. This is going to help puff up that area just a little bit. Then she uses a small clip to hold my hair in place and she uses the straightener again but this time to create S curls. That's one side of my hair done and I absolutely love it. I asked her what's the secret to creating this look and she replied it's all about adding volume at the right places to make your face look smaller and to bring your hair forward to cover the M hairline aka widow's peak which helps make you look more feminine. She asked if she can cut my hair and I was like, yeah, you can do whatever. <laughs> I trust you. She created these little cute baby hairs, which is very trendy at the moment in Korea. She also mentioned that the trend is not to add too much volume all over. Instead, just focus on the sides and a little bit at the top so it makes you look more youthful. If you add volume everywhere, it can make you look a little bit older and more mature. Mm -hmm. 
OMG guys, I have arrived. I absolutely love this makeover. I wish I could look like this every day. Now I know why K-drama actresses always look so good. The secret is you need a team of talented artists to help you glow up every day. I think Netflix should be calling me soon for the next K-drama. The makeup is so natural, yet I look like the best version of myself, if you guys know what I mean. The hair just is the cherry on top. Honestly, I feel like a mini celebrity right now. What do you guys think of this look? I hope you guys have enjoyed this video and learned some cool tips. Make sure to subscribe to my channel to stay updated with the future videos that I post. And that's it from me, guys. Bye, everyone.